Hi everyone, my name is Casey Astrology. I'm an astrologer who reads the cards of truth and human design. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you are a subscriber or if you come here often or welcome if you're new here. Um, so in today's video, we're going to be discussing how to practically use my cards of truth pocket guide to make predictions um, and track the astrology transits. So uh, if you're new here and you're wondering what the cards of truth are exactly, let me explain. So I've been studying the cards of truth, which is a system of cardamancy that incorporates tropical Vedic astrology for several years now. Um, and this has been through my teacher Ernst Wilhelm, who created this wonderful system of astrology. Um, and the basic way that this system works is everyone is born with a birth card um, and that birth card has a subsequent birth card spread um, similar to a natal spread and this is determined by their birthday and the placements of the planets in their spread um, so it again it's very similar to one's natal chart um, and the reason that i really love this system is because each individual card can give you really so much detail and nuance to client readings um, that I really believe just isn't that easily accessible um, when you're doing a straight up astrology reading with just a natal chart. Uh, and, and this is in my opinion. Unless that astrologer already has dedicated their entire life to studying astrology, um, I don't think they can give you the kind of details that a card reading can. Uh, and the interesting thing about the cards to me is that all the meanings of the cards are just out there and they already exist. Um, and so there's not so much interpreting that you have to do of like planetary conjunctions or squares, um, you, you know, aspects in that way. Like that stuff does exist in card readings because the planets are used in your birth card spread. But... Um, in the same token, because it's cards that we're looking at, each individual card in the 52 card um, deck has individual meanings attached to it already. So even if you um, don't look at the planets in your birth card spread, just looking at the cards and knowing the meaning of those cards, um, it really can give you so much nuance um, detailed information about you personally. Um, so Ernst has hours and hours of videos um, and courses on his website which take you in depth and teach you how to use the Cards of Truth um, and particularly with the Cards of Truth software which can also be purchased on his website as well um, and I'll leave the link for that in the description below. Um, now, having taken Ernst, all of Ernst courses myself and studying and learning all there was and all there is to know about the Cards of Truth, um, and of course being a Cards of Truth reader myself as part of my astrology practice for many years now, um, I decided that I wanted to make the cards more accessible to my audience because, um, again, I just find that they're just so helpful. And because the meaning of the car the meanings of the cards already exist and have existed for a long time as a divination tool for making predictions, um, I just want to make them more readily accessible and available to an to anyone, basically. So in order to make the cards of truth even more simplified and accessible to anyone who's interested in astrology, tarot, or card reading, I created the Cards of Truth Pocket Guide. Um, and so what is it and what does it do? Well, the Cards of Truth Pocket Guide is essentially an e-guide that compiles the basic meanings behind all 52 cards. Um, and I've done this so that anyone using the e-guide can first easily, easily look up their birth card and what their birth card is by following my basic instructions um, that are included in the Pocket Guide. And then once they find their birth card and the basic meaning behind it, they're able to look it up. So anyone can use the Cards of Truth Pocket Guide to look up not only just their birth card, but all of the cards 
in their natal birth spread to get a more complete understanding of the cards, um, which are really important to them, which is a really important part of their makeup, essentially. Just as all planets and their house placements can be analyzed and tell you something nuanced about yourself in your natal chart, each card in your birth card spread in the Cards of Truth system can be analyzed in the same way. And this pocket guide lets you do that yourself in a very simple, streamlined way without having to consult an astrologer to give you a full um, Cards of Truth natal reading, basically. Um, which can be a really big commitment mentally, energetically, and materially for a lot of people. Um, so with my Cards of Truth Pocket Guide, you can be your own astrologer, essentially, and give yourself intuitive readings that are filled with depth and insight. So in today's video, I'm going to give you an example of how this can all work and how you can use the Cards of Truth Pocket Guide in your daily life as a divination tool to give yourself readings and make predictions. Um, and to do that, I'm going to be sharing an example from my own life. So one easy thing I suggest doing when you are looking at the cards and potentially giving yourself birth spread readings or giving someone else in your life a reading is uh, really tracking the daily card transits. Um, so I have a really easy way to do that because I have a free tool on my website to track the daily Cards of Truth transits and it's called the Cards of Truth Calendar 2024. Um, and this is a free resource that I'm offering on my website. Um, and I personally always use this calendar in conjunction with my Cards of Truth pocket guide when giving myself or anyone else a reading. Um, and I highly recommend that you use both these tools together. Um, so that's the Cards of Truth pocket guide itself in tandem with the Cards of Truth 2024 calendar. And the calendar, again, can be downloaded for free. Um, at checkout when you purchase your Cards of Truth pocket guide on my website. Um, and I'll leave the description to that uh, below. Or I should say I'll leave the link to that in the description below. Um, so having said that, uh, let me show you how to use this tool in action by sharing an example from my own life. Um, so an event or a situation that happened in my life that I was able to anticipate by tracking the Cards of Truth 2024 calendar and reading the Cards of Truth pocket guide is something that happened to me earlier this year. Um, and so basically what happened was uh, I fell and injured my arm. Now, I want to preface this by saying that uh, I didn't wake up that morning going, oh, because I looked at my Cards of Truth pocket guide and I'm tracking the Cards of Truth calendar, I know that I'm going to hurt myself today. <laughs> Um, that's not, I'm not claiming to be like a psychic or a clairvoyant. But um, I did know through tracking both the, th the calendar and the pocket guide that on this particular day, uh, which the injury occurred, this was an eight of spades day. Now, if you look up the eight of spades card in um, my Cards of Truth pocket guide, you'll see that some of the meanings for the Eight of Spades is that it's a card of being laid up, stuck, um, and all of a sudden you're not able to go anywhere. Um, and this card has a spe special significance to me personally in my birth spread because the Eight of Spades is my Saturn card in my spread. So, so not only is the eight, is the card Eight of Spades a card. Um, in itself of being laid up and stuck um, but it's also for me personally it's my Saturn card and the Saturn card in our birth card spreads are what indicate potential lack uh, limitations and the destruction of the indications of that card specifically in your life so what are the potential lacks and limitations that an eight of spades can bring as a Saturn card and it happening to be um, the card transit of the day as well. In my case, what happened was uh, on that Eight of Spades day, I fell and I sprained my arm pretty bad. Um, 
and you know luckily I knew immediately that it wasn't broken because you know I didn't have any bruising swelling deformities anything like that but um true to the eight of spades card of being stuck and laid up it was very painful and um I did lose mobility in my arm for a long time like I think it took about like six weeks before my full range of motion came back um and this another um this is another thing about the eight of spades is that it's not usually a card that it denotes like serious injury or illness when it's by itself um it can just be a card of like going having to go to a doctor's appointment getting x-rays having to see a therapist um or like even getting like an astrology reading or beginning the process of studying astrology so it's it's like that kind of thing it's more of like a day it's more of like a routine um checkup or like a doctor's appointment rather than something serious in most cases when the eight of when you're looking at the eight of spades by itself so um yeah this is the example from my life in which i was able to use the cards of truth to track the mundane events of my life by using um my cards of truth pocket guide together with my 2024 cards of truth calendar and again, um, for those of you who'd like a short summary of how that worked, basically, um, I knew that the Eight of Spades in my birth card spread was on the Saturn card. Therefore, for me, it's a card of limitations. Um, and knowing that um, the, the Eight of Spades itself is also a card of, you know, feeling stuck and being limitations, it's like, doubly true in my case um and so when i did see that it was going to be an eight of spades day through the calendar um i was able to you know go in and look at my spread and and be like okay yeah so this is an eight of spades day um you know that's my needle saturn spread and um because I myself had the Cards of Truth software, I'm able to look even further and I was able to see that um, in the actual time frame that the injury occurred, that was also an Eight of Spades for me. Um, and that's something that you can see if you download the Cards of Truth software from Ernst Wilhelm's website, but you don't need to go like that in depth um, to just know the energy. So basically, all you'd really have to focus on or all I really had to know was, okay, and it, this is an eight of spades day and this is not, um, this is more of a limit limiting card in my spread. So know that there could be some limitations that I, or challenges that I would be facing today, basically. And that is, what happened to me in my experience and if i wasn't tracking the daily card transits through the cards of truth calendar or through my pocket guide i probably wouldn't have um seen it coming or even paid attention and um once the injury did occur i wouldn't have been as i would say calm and prepared about it like i wouldn't I probably would have been more freaked out in my opinion um but yeah if you are studying cardamancy or you're just getting into the cards i really invite you to um try this process for yourself so order the cards of truth pocket guide download the free 2024 cards of truth calendar and give it a try um look up all the cards in your birth card spread and um go ahead and learn about their meanings um, and then once you do that you can track the card transits using the card calendar um, and on a day of the card transit write down any observations you have that day involving the card of the day especially if it's um, a card that's part of your birth card spread so for example say it's an ace of spades day and in your birth card spread the ace of spades is your mercury card um, so on an ace of spades day, 
uh, I encourage you to write down, um, you know, your thoughts and feelings that you're experiencing that day or like any observations that you may have um, about the kind of events that are going on that day. And then go ahead and compare that to what the meaning of the Ace of Spades is in the Cards of Truth Pocket Guide and then see if you what similarities or differences you are able to glean from that and just write down any observations you have that day involving that card um, and so yeah I'd love to hear from you in the comments section below um, feel free to share your own experiences with the cards of truth transits um, especially if you're tracking them in this way using the cards of truth calendar um, that's free and then also the cards of truth pocket guide which you can download on my website it's available for purchase there so thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more content from me um, like this please don't forget to like comment and subscribe um, and for more cards of truth content you can check out my birth card shorts playlist series um, and I'll leave a link to that in the description and that's basically um, a live description of each of the different 52 playing cards um, especially if they're your birth card um, and if you'd like a, read, a reading with me or if you're interested in having a full cards of truth reading you can check out my cards of truth playlist um, where I share celebrity card readings um, and if you'd like a personalized reading with me and you'd like to book one um, you can also do that through my website um, is kcastrology.com slash readings um, and again I'm going to leave all of that information down in the description box below um, so thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.